We are out in the family plot garden. Yes. And we understand you're going to be planting potatoes for us today. Oh, yes, yeah, one of my favorites. That's oh, one of your favorites. I love to do. And, and the way, you know, we get started with that, I like to plant mine in ground. Okay. And that will start with me just uh, digging a nice straight uh, <laughs> trench here. Uh, so that I can put the potatoes in. Okay, so it's going to be nice and straight, right? So oh, yes. Oh, yes. Right. Years of experience doing it. Okay. I, I, I can right. do it straight. All right. All right. So let me get started. No, no pressure. Oh, okay. No pressure. All, all right. right. <laughs> so all you want to do is just basically have this at about six inches deep. This garden soil has been tilled up very, very nicely. And uh, because you really don't want to plant them too deep. Okay. Uh, because later in the uh, year we're going to come by and we're going to do what we call healing. Mm -hmm. So we want to leave a little soil but we can always just kind of heal it up so that it keeps from getting those green potatoes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So as you're doing it, Walter, when is the best time to actually plant potatoes? Here in the Mid-South, uh, we can plant potatoes. Uh, really, I like the month of uh, uh, March as a good time to plant them here. And you can also plant potatoes some people forget fall potatoes mm -hmm. can plant them also in July, okay. actually, the latter part of July. And then those can be your fall potatoes. Okay. No, you know, a lot of people don't do that too much anymore. So, but you can do it. But you can, okay. Mm -hmm. So you can actually plant in March, you know, it's considered to be a cool period, yes. so that's fine? Yes, and actually, you can sneak out there if it's a very warm February. Hmm. Uh, the latter end of February, you can do it too. Okay. Because the thing about, uh, potatoes, potatoes can uh, take light frost. Okay, I mean, so you they, know, can. they can handle it. Okay. You know, so when the temperatures get like, you know, 28, 32, something like that, they can still handle it. It's okay. no problem. And I think I measured that pretty good. Oh, look at that. Right. It's pretty good straight, isn't it? Pretty good, yeah, it's pretty straight. <laughs> I've been doing it for years. I didn't doubt you, I didn't doubt. <laughs> so there's our trench is dug fairly straight. Pretty straight. And mm -hmm. um, so now I can go get the potatoes and just okay. drop them in. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Let me remove my shell. I can hold that for you. Oh, okay. All right. So, now, can you use store bought potatoes to plant? No, do not okay. use uh, store bought potatoes because uh, what they do on those potatoes, they spray them. Okay. With, with you know, with something to, to prevent them from sprouting. So, therefore, uh, if you you know if you use those potatoes. Uh, you, you probably want, it's not going to work. Okay. Okay. So, and one thing I want you to see with using these uh, potatoes, these are what we call seed potatoes. That's what you'll see them called. Mm -hmm. If you go to some farm supply store or something like that. And uh, basically, you have these sprouts. And these sprouts are where what we used to call, what people call the potato eye. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Okay. And all you simply do is just place it. With the eye up. Okay. Now, how deep is that? That's six inches. Right, six inches. Okay. Now, watch this. There's something was on me. Uh, and then you're going to go, you're going to plant every foot. Okay. So, every, every 12 inches, I have the eye up. Okay. All right. And I have. How many more you got? I Some, have one more. Okay. But I want to do something with this. All right. Uh, since this is the last one, let okay. me set that aside. You can also cut these in two where you see the eye. All right. Cut them by the eye. And you can then, of course, you would like to cure these, but I think they'll still work. And you can just, you can plant it with, you know, like that. Okay. So the flush eyes go down in the yes. ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, you know, yeah. right there. Yeah. And there you go. All right. And then, uh, You'll simply come back, uh, you can take your shovel or what have you, and you can, you know, well, I can just take my hand, I probably, I guess I'll use the shovel. So how long before we see a sprout? I, I would probably give it about, maybe about, hmm, I, I guess about 15 days, 20 yeah, days, something like that. We should see something okay. shooting up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bottom line is we know that they're here. Most of the time we talk about the healing. Yes of the potatoes, so what does that mean and, and why do we need to heal our potatoes? You'll come back probably in another three or four weeks. Okay. And uh, as these, you know, as the potatoes come, and then over time, just pull, pull more soil up around it. Okay. As you see that stem come up. Right. Because that prevents them from, you know, getting that green, uh, you know, sometimes your potatoes are green. Yeah. That prevents that. Okay. 
So once we start, you know, getting to the healing process, then how long before we harvest? Okay. You're going to harvest in about 90 days. Oh, wow. Okay. And you will harvest once the stems die back and turn brown. That's when you will harvest. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, about two weeks after you kind of see that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how do we handle the potatoes after the harvesting process? So hey, when we get ready to store, so how do mm -hmm. we do that? After the harvesting process, you will dig them, but do not wash them. Do not wash them. Right. You're just going to dig them, bring them up. And if you can, store them in a place of about 40 degrees, mm -hmm. if you can, uh, a dark place, but, you know. And uh, basically, do that for about two weeks, and then you're good to go. Mm, that sounds good. Yes. Okay. So any major diseases, you know, or insect pests we need to be concerned about? Uh, the only thing you have to worry about, you do have a potato beetle. Nah. You know, there's some insecticides that kind of hang on him. Yeah. But uh, also, uh, you do have scab, but if you use scab resistant cultivars, you won't have that problem at all. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Okay. So what about the old wire worm? Have we heard about that? Is that going to be a problem with potatoes? It will not be, great question. It will not be a problem in this bed because we're planting in a garden spot that's previously been, you know, tilled and gardened. Mm -hmm. Now, do not ever, ever, ever plant potatoes in ground that has never been cultivated before okay. because you will get wire worms and you can also get wild worms if you plant your potatoes in the spot where you had sweet corn oh, last year. Okay. Didn't know that. So you don't want to follow a cereal crop, a grain crop. Gotcha. With them either. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's important. You have uh, any favorite varieties uh, well, that you like of potatoes? Huh? Yes, I will tell you. Uh, I still like, as far as the uh, white potato go, uh, Irish potato, uh, I like the old Kennebec. Uh, Kennebec <laughs> has been around with us for a long time. Uh, it does a good job. If you're looking for a red variety, the red New Orleans mm -hmm. is a very, very good uh, potato to plant. Also, if you look for that gold variety, I kind of like the Yukon gold. Ah, yeah. And, uh, and then I'm, at some point, I'm going to experiment with some um, uh, Adirondack blue. I want to try some of those blue, try some of those blue uh, potatoes. That sounds yes. good. All right, Walter, mm -hmm. we appreciate you uh, doing that demonstration for us. So we'll get this watered, and we'll get you some water, too, after this. Right? All right, no problem. <laughs> Thank you so much friend. for the demonstration. Yes, right. yes, happy to do so.